Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Jay here, man. Back with another and late night video, y'all. And tonight, man, we got some crazy and wild content to talk about. Now, it seems like it's a nice classroom, y'all. Once again, man, we got YB back on the roster. Yes, y'all. It's, it's been a whole Contrellathon today. You know what I'm saying? That was cringe. I ain't gonna lie, man. But anyways, it seems like we got NBA Youngboy back on the roster again. And it seems like he has some things to say to uh, Floyd Mayweather's sister, also just known as... You know what I'm saying? Money, Yaya, or uh, Yaya Mayweather, uh, auntie, after she pretty much called him by his name. And he said something in this video that was very disturbing, man. And I really feel like people should pay attention to this. Now, before we get into this and I break down what I'm talking about or speak on how I feel, y'all know my little routine. Y'all know, just hit that like button, bro. And smash that notification bell so that you know I can't keep y'all updated on this situation. And y'all can just be notified anytime I drop a video in general. Now, I'm going to give y'all time to hit that like button and smash that bell. Mm-hmm. Y'all got me. <laughs> All right. Bam. Now, basically, what we got going on, as I said, y'all, we got uh, NBA Youngboy back on the roster again, and it seems like he has some things to say to the uh, Mayweather family again. Now, if y'all don't know, uh, NBA Youngboy went off on the Mayweather family uh, and pretty much sent a message to the uh, John Gotti them family after his daughter, you know, pretty much called NBA young boy um Floyd Mayweather and all of them some animals after she was salty her brother lost and um young boy responded to it and he had this to say to her I'm I'm sitting there uh, recording you know I make my own movies but I'm I'm really I'm 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 really trying to speak on the shit as it came across this page we, we, you know we got it we we got it daughter Man, I'm gonna tell you like this. I, I hope you do that bitch the worst away two, three years from now. I don't give a fuck. It ain't my business. I hate that. Dog. And when it come to her daddy, that nigga don't need to be in my mentions. I don't fuck with him. Your brother lost the fight. Every man gotta lose. Every dog got a day, man. That's how they go. Hey, I idolize your daddy. Man, next time you ever disrespect me, Y'all gonna have to bomb me. Have a blessed day, beautiful. Now, as y'all seen, you know, last night I made a video about it. He went off on it and said, you know, next time they uh speak on him, they're gonna have to bomb him. I also said that, you know, um, he don't like Yaya and said he don't really fool with Mayweather, you know, just speaking bad on her name. And I felt like that video was very, you know, um, like, you know, bringing them into it was very ignorant. You know, all you had to do was just respond to John, guided on people, you know, bringing down your baby mother, you know, is very nasty. Going to the fact that you said that you love, that you idolize, but you shouldn't idolize no man, but you idolize their family, but then you say you hate your baby mom. It just, it didn't make no sense to me. But um, pretty much, you know, Yaya Mayweather, um, well, excuse me, sorry, I call her Yaya. Yeah, Yaya Mayweather, auntie, which was Floyd Mayweather's sister, which she got the name of, if I'm not mistaken, let me make sure I get it right, Fanny Orr, you know, um, pretty much went off on young boy. She had some things to say to him after he spoke ill on their family. Now, she put up some things on her story, and she said, first, she said, NBA young boy has the mental capacity of a piece of ish. I hope he gets in trouble for inciting violence, right? Because I guess she was responding to him saying when he said, you know, every time you see a beater or three three years or five years from now, you know, beat her because they don't like her. And right after that, um, she responded and said, remedial men start thinking they're smart when there's enough dummies, agreeing to their BS sentiment, sentiment, excuse me. And she also went on to say, NBA dumb boy, ain't you the same dumb dumb that dang nearly begged my brother to come to court with you to keep your A free. Now you give us your A to kiss because you weren't included. Poor team, right? And she followed that up and said, he mad he didn't get the attention KJ did. Shake my head. Just a dumb dumb igger, right? Now, I ain't gonna lie. You know, she had right to defend her niece because, you know, young boy spoke ill on her. But I do feel like her talking to my young boy, calling him dumb and all that is very insane. Now, I don't think he made it this far. No matter how mad y'all get, he didn't make it this far being dumb. Now, granted, you know, young boy can be ignorant at times. We know that, you know, um, I did feel like, you know, there's something going on in his head. But for her to talk crazy on that and make him seem like he just, uh, uh like just some, just like not be funny or a special ed kid or something is insane. And, you know, that's disrespectful. Now, of course, Youngboy responded ASAP, put on his story, but deleted it. But, of course, you know the page just picked it up, and he went off on her, and he had this to say. Dumb, 
um, boy, you ugly bitch. Man, you better stop playing with me. Man, I don't, ain't, I ain't included in weight. I don't even like y'all. I just spice y'all. Bitch, that nigga big me to make money with him. I ain't, I ain't never received a dollar with that. Stop playing with me, ho. You better go ask them what go on with over there. Or whatever the fuck you think going on. My little niggas got slaughtered this morning, bitch. I ain't got no time for you, ho. I'm really blind on all this shit, bitch. I don't, bro, I don't know about nothing that be going on. Y'all are weird, bitch. The fuck wrong with you, man? I'm on different time, and I'm not living a different world, bitch. And yes, I am real demanding with a real illness. Bitch, I ain't crazy, but I never ain't say I was fucked up. Well, I wasn't fucked up. Don't man, bitch, you man, because you probably won't eat my dick, ugly ass. All I did, uh, only thing I did was respond to the girl about disrespecting me, letting her know I actually idolized them. You hear me? I respect how I respect their culture and what, you know, all the extra shit, even though a percentage of them don't even like us. Bitch, I ain't saying nothing. You leave me the fuck alone. Now, as you see, you know, he responded to her calling him dumb and he went up on her, you know what I'm saying? And he said, you know, she just probably mad because he want to eat, you know what I'm saying? Woo. woo. They also went on to say that you know um mayweather begged him to try to um so i guess like do business with him to make money and he just went rocking with him saying that you know he despised a family now something about this video was very disturbing man if y'all didn't hear him he said something about i'm very demonic you know what i'm saying and he also said that you know um he said he he throwed it off in the head now i will say you know um people look at that and laugh or people look at it and let it go by but this is why i say man you know and you know even the bible it says you don't wrestle against uh flesh and blood you it's it's a spiritual world we live in you know it's definitely a lot going on with that man and you know when you see certain things like him painting his nails black you know they be promoting this sit 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 stuff and it's just a lot of things he do you know when they call themselves demons and all that this is real life you know you may not see it in the physical but spiritually bro it's a lot going on in this music industry and i feel like you know this is very this is something that need to be talked about you know i definitely praying for yb so i definitely seen like you know he got all this money and all that in the world so i feel like that's just his way of coping with it but deep down inside that mean that man need help you know what i'm saying prayer and that type of help only come from the one above man that's jesus christ you know what i'm saying and i hope he does get the help that he need bro because uh, I definitely feel like he he like it's like a dark like he fighting demons you know a lot of people say that but like you can generally tell both like he really got like things going on in his head you know and I'm hoping that he get prayer now she responded to him also with that and she said please come up with some new material because she received backlash she said if you come in come with some fire all this Floyd can't read is played Yaya stabbing case play go find something new and she also followed up and said, they mad at me for defending my niece like they wouldn't do the same. Y'all don't even know this man who I didn't even name specifically, which shows how delusional you dumb dumbs are. And I was trying to say she want to talk about YB. Come on now. And she followed up and said, y'all should see my DM request. They big mad over a person that wants something bad that's to happen to my baby. They don't even know him. Furthermore, I stated what he did in sight violence. I didn't threaten his existence. He did that himself would come in a year later and sign violence just dumb and you know we're gonna wrap it up there regardless y'all um they are family whether she like it or not you know what i'm saying they have a kid together and that kid deserved to be in the non-toxic household and does deserve to have both sides of the family be able to be cordial you know what i'm saying for the sake of him bro you feel me and and, and be able to 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 come together bro you know and, and be a family bro because we don't need no more toxic households we got enough of that in our community bro you know, man, a lot of this family, including a lot of us, need prayer, man. It's a very sad situation, man. But y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section. And let me know what y'all think about this, man. And let me know how y'all feel. It's your boy, Lick here, Jay. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all more, man. And yeah, bro. I'm out.